today I thought we would talk about, as Dave Chappelle said, the juicy Smoulier hoax. The uh, actor from Empire who pulled a hoax and convinced the world that something bad had happened that actually did not happen. He hired like two of his friends to commit this hoax with him and then later got you know it got perpetuated and the media was like oh my god it's so horrible what happened to him turns out like the dude made it all up then he got prosecuted got found guilty and so i just thought it was interesting because there's been quite a few of these things have gone around the last few years that all were these big type of things that what was implied was there was racism going on and a race crime or a hate crime or something like that. And it turns out that the people that, that reported that they were the victims had actually done these things as performances to get attention for whatever reason. And so Juicy Smoulier, as Dave Chappelle said, is the, uh, the actor. So Esty, why don't you tell us about this? The fact this guy wasted the country's hmm. time and law enforcement resources for something that was all BS. Mm-hmm. I it have potentially a was him trying to use it as to get sympathy, so he'd get a bigger contract or something in the TV series. Yeah, well, he was getting paid well, and it looked Obviously like he wanted well more. Enough. He wanted more, so that's the case, and um, yeah. But let's get into the timeline and then we start like making our like assumptions and stuff like that. So according to BBC, on January 29, 2019, that's when the alleged incident t- took place. Chicago police say they're investigating a suspected racist and homophobic attack on Jesse. Juicy Smollier. Juicy. I'm, I'm going to say the regular. Jesse Smollier by two masked men, which happened at about 2 a.m. Juicy. They say the actor was punched in the face, had an, quote, unknown chemical substance poured on him and a rope wrapped around his neck. Jesse Smollett told police the two attackers also made reference to MAGA, M-A-G-A, Make America Great Again. The slogan used to often, used often. This shirt actually says K-A-G, Keep America Great. Sorry to interrupt. It's not the same thing. (laughs) So that was, what, two years ago, three? Two, three years ago. Three, oh wow. Yeah. wow. Then on January 31st, twenty. So basically he said that somebody, in Mag- you know, a couple of dudes in MAGA hats roughed him up, put a rope around his neck and poured yes. some kind of liquid on him. Yes, that was what he told police. The whole um, beginning of the hoax, everyone says. And the police were going... <laughs> I think I smell. No, I think I smell some bullshit. The police were fine. They were cooperating. Let me see your phone, Juicy. They thought he was uh, a victim, and yes, a couple days later, they asked for his phone, but he refused to hand it over. But the police didn't suspect anything. Everybody that I follow on Twitter at the time, which most of them tend to lean right, in all fairness, were going, "This is another hoax." And so, anyways, the that's like getting batted all around the Twitter Twitter sphere. And the police are going, hey, we'd like to look at your phone Mm. just for, you know, investigative purposes. And he said no. He refused. Yeah, he refused. Now, if you're innocent, you're like, yeah, sure. Yeah. Even if you're innocent, I'd still refuse. Yeah, because that's private. That's another thing, another advice. If you get pulled over, you don't have, even if you're innocent, don't let them search your car. They'll forfeit your assets. Oh, okay. So. But this is, well, let's get back to it. He supposedly was, he, his claim was, oh, I was on the phone talking to my manager when this all happened. And so the police wanted to look at his phone and see, was the dude actually on his phone when this supposedly happened, talking to the manager. There'd be a log, a call log. Yeah, they needed the cop to see the story. And and like I said, the police were (laughs) <laughs> I smell some bullshit. Yeah, and then on February 11, 2019, same year, Jesse Smollett gives police a PDF file of his phone records after they had originally asked for his phone and he refused. But the files are redacted. Some bits have been covered up. Ah. So that's what Oops. was a bit fishy. Now, 
Days later, on the 14th, which was Valentine's Day, the two of interest are arrested and interviewed by the police, but not charged and not treated as suspects. I would so think more people, than likely the police probably, maybe I'm wrong, went to court, got a subpoena for his phone records, and were able to just basically download all his texts directly from the phone company. So and caught, pr- them, caught him in the lie. So they probably got his chat mm-hmm. with him and the, the two brothers. The, I think and these that's guys why were, they were able to brothers, apprehend right? them. Yeah. Or, so these two guys that are brothers, I think they were also actors and they were extras. on. Correct. I, think, I think he was involved with one of them or whatever. Yeah. So they probably had all the text exchange. And so when they have the actual text exchange and Juicy Smollier thinks he's being clever, you know, and then they can question him about it because they actually have the actual text and get him to basically – he'll create a story, but they have the text because they can ask him what are in these texts and he'll tell them. They have the actual text, but he doesn't know that they have the text. And so he incriminates himself. Because mm. the police are going, I smell some bullshit. <laughs> so the two brothers were originally from Nigeria. She's big mad. And they had worked as Empire Extras, sometimes going to the gym with the actor, their lawyer says. Okay, so you have... Um, some type of connection with them if you're going to the gym. Yeah. Working out. And on the same day, an interview with Jesse Smollett. They were Smollett each other up, apparently. Yeah. Is shown on Good Morning America. He suggests that the alleged attackers were white, saying, quote, if I had if I had said the attackers was a Muslim or a Mexican or someone black, I feel like the doubters would have supported me a lot much more. What a racist. I personally think this juicy fellow is scum because he, what he does is <laughs> he's like, scum. He's a complete slap in the scum. face of actual victims of hate crimes. Yeah. He completely just kind of disenfranchises them. I don't think that's the right word, but along the lines of disenfranchise, it literally just, it's just pure for uh, just public attention, public gain, just stir it, fanning the flames. Mm-hmm. That's all this is. Mm-hmm. It's despicable. Awesome. And it negates from the people that actually go it through. It gets everybody actual pissed yeah. off and hating each other, and and it just turns out that it was all bullshit. And when he went to do the interview, he also added why he refused to hand over his phone, saying, "quote I have private pictures and videos and numbers, my private emails, my private songs, my private voice memos." He also said gay people should learn to fight these kinds of attacks. So yeah, well, were- the police also have subpoena power, and they probably already had all of his mm-hmm. information. That'll be. Then moving on to February 17th, the same year, Chicago police say they there have been some developments oh, in this investigation. Some developments. Yes. A day after they released the brothers without charge. They say they want to speak to the individual who reported the incident, which was Jesse Smollett. Juicy Smollett. Juicy. So probably more than likely the, bro- the two brothers told him or told the police what actually happened that they were paid i think if i'm not mistaken to pull us off and they rehearsed it and everything and so then they're like well we want to talk to juicy smollier and see what he has to say because again he can give more incriminating Mm -hmm. evidence against himself then on february 20th jesse smollier is charged by police charged with disorderly conduct filing a false police report so Cut off to him. Following day on the 21st, he was arrested. At a press conference, police superintendent Eddie Johnson says that Smollett, quote, took advantage of the pain and anger of racism to promote his career. And, quote, he adds that the actor did it because he was dissatisfied with his salary. So that was the main thing. It's a hell of a way to go about getting a raise. It's waste the police's time and very delicate. Create a fake victim narrative in the whole country that you're the victim mm-hmm. of a sounds like this man is just a narcissist working at, a from his like emotional he's like emotionally unstable you know there's, there's no logic involved in this he's a criminal these are Plain it seems simple. like an act of passion just in the heat of the moment he decided he's going to do this stupid thing he came up with this dumb idea you bet he felt so smart coming up with this idea too he's like oh this is Flawless. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> most likely, yeah. Mm. And this is like not the first like kind of idea he had. 
Police claim that he also sent a racist letter to himself at a Fox studio. Oh. So he was testing the waters ahead of time. Yeah. This, he was already toying with the so idea. Racist, I got to be racist to myself. He was using what was happening in the country already because yeah. this was the theme in the country at the time. Yeah. So he was using it and riding that wave to get attention yeah, for the Black himself. Black Lives Matter stuff. Mm-hmm. So he's like, I'm going to capitalize on this situation and bring attention to me because it's all about me. <laughs> You know, it's mm. pathetic, honestly. And police also claim that he paid the brothers a check for three thousand five hundred. He wrote a check. Criminal. You know, the they attack. always say criminals are stupid. So dumb. He creates a f- fucking paper trail. Here's a check. Here's. A he check. didn't even pay him cash. He probably was going to try to write it off through <laughs> his CPA as well. <laughs> and that's tax deductible. Yeah. If trying to do something very it's performance illegal, art. Use cash. I think yeah, but. It's tax deductible. I want my deductions. I want my tax return back, damn it. But my thing is to stage an attack, you don't think 3500 is a bit like small? Yeah. Wouldn't like, the attackers ask for more? I don't know. It's weird to They're me. just working out of the gym. They probably just need their rent covered that month. Could be. Could you be. know, Or maybe it was you know sexual favors. Who yeah. knows? Yeah, he that probably gave be. them some things, some uh, extra value added. Oh, Lord. A little extra added to the bottom line. It's on the wrist. <laughs> receiving end of the hot beef injection. That's crazy. Then the following day, he was suspended from Empire, which I say he fumbled the bag because Empire is a great show. That was stupid on his part. And it's just like, what? Everybody mm-hmm. loved his character. Maybe the 3500 was for the sexual favors. Uh, and they I threw in the um, beating him up for free. Mm-hmm. Maybe that was part of it. A little foreplay. Yeah, a little kinkiness. <laughs> Spicing things up a little bit. Yeah, but that plan went, did not go through at all. On March 14th, Jesse Smollett appears in court charged with 16 counts of disorderly conduct and pleads not guilty. 16 counts? 16 counts it was. And he did really bad. On March 26th, after an emergency court appearance, all charges against Jesse Smollett are dropped. In a statement, his lawyer says, quote, he was a victim who was vilified and made to appear as a perpetrator, end quote. They add that his record has been wiped clean. Yeah, I remember when that happened. That looks so shady. Yeah, that is shady. It was Very all the politicians flag. and the oligarchs and the or Hollywood people conspiring. Or maybe it was just a phone call. It could have been a phone call from L.A. Doing mm-hmm. a few favors. Yeah. Hey, hey, can you do me a solid? Yeah. I'll get you on as an extra next year. Can have you on a couple appearances. Insane. This gives me like when you have power, you can do anything. You just can bribe, you can make favors. That's and they're very arrogant about sad. it. They think, oh yeah, we'll just make this go away. Mm. <laughs> I'm just reading ahead. <laughs> then on March 29th, Jesse is ordered to pay for police overtime. A demand letter from City arrived, and Chicago police orders Jesse to pay a. Th- one hundred wait, one hundred thirty thousand to cover the cost of police officers, including overtime worked on the case. Officers say the time spent reviewing re- video and physical evidence could have been spent on other investigations, which Jerk is true. Everybody's time. In a letter to the actor, they repeat accusations that Jesse orchestrated the attack. Mm-hmm. So police started to, you know, suspect yeah, this was orchestrated. On April 12th, after Josie Smalley refused to pay the 130000 demanded by the Chicago police, he was sued for three times that amount. Did he ever get his raise? <laughs> hey, Empire cut his contract, so he had no raise. Oh, I and think... he was, was, they have the video, I remember seeing the video of him just casually walking down the street with the rope around his neck and like a subway sub. <laughs> <laughs> The crazy part like, is... Yeah, he looks like he got roughed up. The crazy part is there were a lot of celebrities who supported him in the beginning. Yeah. When it first Everybody broke assumed out. he was telling yes. the truth. But when, once... So did the media. Yeah. But the once media. it started to like follow the story, celebrities media. were like, no, the this media. is insane. And they didn't support it him anymore. It is insane. Like, dear friend. The audacity. Mm-hmm. 
So in the next few months, there was footage released and they were getting their evidence. And on February 12, 2020, the actors Plus, charged. I think the attorney general got involved. And somebody got involved and was like, you know, higher up going, that looks shady. You guys can't dismiss these charges. And so they came up with new charges, I assume. New charges, but he was only charged with six counts of lying to police. That's what they came. Only six. They just put six. So they knocked out ten of the counts. Yeah. They Watch when it decreases when you go later on to the ten. Like, it's it's not what you know, it's who you know. Correct. On November 29th, 2021, which is a couple of months before he was charged, so they had to wait for the trial. The trial begins and authorities allege that Smollett paid the brothers to carry out the attack to promote his career because he was dissatisfied with his salary on Empire. Special Prosecutor Dan Webb argues the actor had developed a secret plan that would make it appear there was actually a hate crime that actually occurred against him by supporters of Donald Trump. Yeah, that's what it's Prosecutor had done. During the trial, Smollett says the check was for a meal and workout plan from Abel or Abel, who he says he was involved in a sexual relationship with before the alleged attack. <gasps> more to the tea, more Spicy. to the story. Smollett repeatedly denies in court that he had been involved in a hoax and says he did not call the police because as a black man in America, I don't trust the police. I'm sorry. He says he didn't call. Who called the police then? Who reported the hate crime? Didn't he do it? <laughs> no, I think he waited. That was the thing. <clears throat> and, oh, yeah. Well, was, the, the video, he's casually video. strolling home. He's like, you know what? I'm going to eat my Subway first, and then I'm going to call Cause and the, say, hey, I'm a victim <clears throat> of a hate crime. Come over. Please come fast. The police also... As he's burping well, that wasn't the only as he's long burping up his that night. Uh, subway dinner when they <laughs> arrive. When the police arrived to him and they saw the rope, he still had the rope like around his neck and the, the cops were saying, are you going to take it off? He's like, no, I want you to see it. That's what he did say. I remember that. That was in one of the articles. I don't know. It just sounded so iffy from the He was start. still in character. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's an actor, so yeah. he's playing the part. The scene's I, not maybe. over yet, damn it. <laughs> he needs his props. Exactly. <laughs> On December 9, 2021, Smollett is found guilty of five of the six counts of disorderly conduct, meaning that the last one had not been proven in court. Each count carries a penalty of up to three years in prison. Given Smollett's lack of previous, previous convictions, experts have said a lighter sentence or probation is likely. And then on March 11th, three years after the hoax attack, and first police report, Josie Smollett was sentenced to 150 days jail time in order to pay a fine of $145,000 for staging his own hate crime and filing a false report with police. His sentence also includes 30 months of probation. Throughout the trial, the actor always claimed he had been the victim of a crime. Sure. But then when he went to jail... He only spent five days and, and was released said, pending appeal. Nope. He's a liar. So at the end of the day, he walks. Yeah. A bunch of time was five wasted. Five whole days. Did he ever pay his fine? Oh, he's appealing it. So he, yeah. So if he's appealing it, he doesn't have to pay the fine yet. Now we have to wait until, what, another year, another couple months? I don't know, probably take it. another year. Maybe he gets a new trial. Who knows? Until somebody screws up and they can throw it out. Yeah, some process. They were saying somebody he will miss paperwork or a deadline or something and he, he obviously he's claiming he claimed he was innocent and he didn't eat the meals in jail he didn't touch the food he was on a hunger strike he was not eating it he said why well, i mean he uh, was nursed in other ways <laughs> <laughs> he, he got his protein <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> final word of the story uh,